Hey, Mike Callahan here making a quick video regarding your job costing summary report in Service Autopilot. How to make sure you hit your hourly man hour goals. So in the cleaning industry um, or even in the lawn care industry, if we desired to make $50 per man hour and we had a two man crew, we would want to make sure we are generating $100 per man hour total per crew with drive time to hit your $50 per man hour goal. So what we're going to look at is the workflow here. We're going to go with the job cost summary report, how to export to Excel and Google Docs, update your pricing, and create a template and enter the new prices in a custom field in Service Autopilot, which that new custom field can be dropped into the template to send out a new pricing email for the next season or the next month to make sure you're hitting your man hour goals for each and every customer you service. And then we want to track it every month and adjust prices accordingly. So there's no need to continue to service a property that you're not making money on or hitting your hourly goals. Let's raise the price to what you desire and continue on and make sure we're making money. If we lose the account, there really is no harm because we're not making our desired profit on it. So why hold on to an unprofitable account? Uh, some tips I have here is have budgeted times on your route sheets. Short-term goals would be your budgeted time per job, and your long-term goal would be the budgeted time for the whole entire day. And hold the crews accountable. Have either a dry erase board or a chalkboard or something in your shop or office that tracks each crew's performance publicly and includes compliments and complaints. So I'm going to jump right into Service Autopilot to show you how this is done. We're going to go in here and go under Scheduling, Reports, and it's going to bring up your job cost summary report. Next, you're going to click on this, but when you click on this, it automatically populates your job cost and report. And I really am going to tend to uh, be a little cautious here. So some people in our group here are um, and watching this are in my service area. So I don't want to necessarily give away all my accounts and the pricing. So I have got a screenshot here. So below will be, would be all your clients, the address, and all the information you need. You can sort this by the date, the month. So either the month or the season, you can select it per crew and you can select it per service. So if it's a bi-weekly cleaning in the cleaning industry or a weekly cleaning or in the lawn care industry, it could be a lawn mowing or fertilizing or mulch install. So once you set this precedence here of what you want, you're going to hit refresh and it's all going to be populated automatically in Service Autopilot. The next step is to hit export and that is uh, going to export it to Excel. You can import your data from Excel into a Google Doc if you have a uh, web-based system or cloud-based system. So this is what it's going to look like once you do that. So A and B is client name and client address. Obviously, I blacked that out so um, my information isn't public. Um, quick disclaimer, being in the Northeast, um, in New York, our market is very blue-collar. So I have some market uh, issues where... Our pricing may be a little bit lower than some of the people in the South and Southwest, but we've overcome that through building density and having a volume model. So um, if you're looking at some of the prices when we get in this and you wonder, wow, what's this guy charging? Um, due to market conditions, we are on the top end of the market as far as pricing, um, as crazy as that may be. But we are generating right now uh, $50 per man hour plus with drive time, even in the... Uh, tough market that we are in. So what you're going to look like as we did here for the 2015 season, um, this is a season, to a season total. So we've actually compressed the cell. So what you're going to see is a compression in total for the whole entire season. So each one of these here is a client at each date. And this is with the date the report was run. So the actual price here is $24 a cut. The budgeted goal was $40 per man hour. And the actual per man hour revenue that was generated is here. So we budgeted for $40 per man hour. We actually generated $64.35 per man hour with drive time. When you're using mobiles, you can have this in here. We zeroed it out due to the way we pay our employees. When job A uh, finishes, job B starts automatically. Um, but I would also highly suggest using the mobiles with the start and stop drive time feature and run that accordingly how it runs into your business uh, but our drive time is included in the price and this is why we do it this way um, each per each business is different and probably 99 percent of the businesses the drive cost effect would be 
pertinent to have in this report. So once again, quick overview, $24 a cut. The budgeted time was $40 per man hour. We actually came out at $64.35 per man hour with drive time. <clears throat> our current price here is $24, and our new mo price, we're raising our prices for 2016 to $50 per man hour from $40. Uh, but since we're at $64 per man hour, there's no need to raise that price because we're $14 and change above our desired per man hour price. So everything in yellow is staying the same, but anything in red, we actually raise the prices. So if you go over here, we were charging $22.50. The calculation that's dragged down into these cells it basically says if the dollar per man hour rate, this number here, is less than $50 per man hour, this is what we need to charge this year, and this is the last year's pricing. So it's a very systematic way to go through each of our pricing and raise our prices with no emotion. So a quick overview of what is going to be exported. Everything from here over is part of Service Autopilot. New pricing model is going to require you to go into the top cell and write a true statement. If this number, the targeted over and under, is less than your desired number here, $50. So if, in this example, if we're netting $40.36 per man hour and we want $50, then we need to charge $23 versus $22.50 to hit our desired $50 per man hour with travel time. Another tip that I would suggest is, even though I've blacked these names out just so no one can see them, I actually do black out the name and address when I go in to check the math and go through this sheet. Reason being is if Mrs. Smith, who's been with your company for 16 years, decided she was going to add a gate and a bunch of trees in the yard and the lawn actually takes longer now to cut the lawn than it has in the previous years, you may feel emotionally connected to her and you may not want to raise her price because it's old Mrs. Smith. By doing this, there is no emotion involved. This is a number-based decision that has no emotion. So I black this out, make sure all the equations are right in here, and then I email this to my admin. The next step is she's going to take these new mo prices if anything has changed and put them into a custom field in service autopilot once that's put in that custom field is going to be put into a template and we can update the new pricing for that customer based on our job cost report on a monthly basis to make sure we're hitting our hourly goal without any emotion and we can make sure we're grabbing every customer every month to make sure we're making money on them if you have any questions on that drop a comment below i can can, can elaborate um but obviously this video is getting a little bit longer and I want to make sure I cover everything. So the last part of this is, as we come down here, some things you should consider when you're calculating your desired hourly man hour charge. Your labor cost. So first thing you want to do is get all your employees in the field and add them all up and divide by the total number of employees to get your average hourly wage. In addition, you should be collecting Getting an average number for federal unemployment, state unemployment, workman's comp, liability, any paid vacation, holiday pay, health insurance, bonus pay, and health insurance. So that is going to cover your labor costs when you're figuring out your per man hour desired charge. Your equipment costs should include replacement costs, maintenance costs such as oil changes, blade changes, tires, anything that is considered a maintenance cost. In addition, you want to make sure you're including the lifetime span of the equipment and basically recovering the cost. So when the lawnmower needs to be replaced every three years, or every five years, you've actually recovered the cost of that and you have the money in the bank for it. And you're charging your customer for the replacement cost. In addition, you want to cover your GNA, your general administrative cost. So this would cover your officer payroll. Um, if the officer is completely out of the field or if you are working within your business, when you're in the field, you recover that part of your labor under the labor costs here and then any GNA or general administrative non-labor tasks would be covered under your GNA. and then in addition to being any, any non-labor payroll such as managers that are, aren't doing labor and any administrative staff in the office the last thing you want to consider is your technology costs and the replacement costs so any of the computers or tablets or smartphones you're using you should be recovering that cost for every two to three years whenever you're replacing them and billing the customer that portion to recover that cost. So if you have any questions how to use the job cost and report by going in 
hitting this here under scheduling and reports going in selecting the date range and the service and then exporting them into an Excel or Google Doc and writing the true statement if we require $50 per man hour this is the price if it's hitting $50 or more we don't change the price or in this fashion here if we're only getting $40.36 and we require $50 per man hour this is the increased price we need to charge the customer so this is a systematic way that's based on numbers how to raise your prices and track your dollar per man hour with drive time to make sure you're hitting your hourly goals and making the desired profit at the end of the year if you have any questions drop below otherwise uh, hopefully this video was helpful